Hello guys, once again, welcome back to another Android application development tutorial. In this video, here I am going to demonstrate how to issue a simple notification from your Android application. We can begin with a new Android Studio project. Here I name the application as notification example. Select empty activity. So here the project is created in Android Studio. So first we need a small drawable resource for the notification. We need a small icon for the notification. So here I am going to add a new drawable resource. Uh, here I am going to add a vector asset. Select an appropriate vector asset. Uh, select a notification. Uh, here I select one icon from this uh, group of icons. I see SMS uh, notification and click finish. So in drawable folder, <coughs> we create a vector asset for the notification icon. So now we can create the user interface for the application. So for issuing the notification, here I am going to add a button. Uh, specify the constraints. Change the text of the button, display notification. Uh, now specify an on click method. Here I name it as display notification. Now go to the XML file. So now we need to implement this method inside main activity. So here I implement that method inside main activity. So from here, I'm going to display a symbol notification. So before going to display notification, here we need some uh, final variable. Uh, first needed variable is a channel ID. I name it as personal uh, notifications. Now we need some integer variable. Uh, it is notification ID. Uh, I initialize some integer value. Okay, so now we can uh, display notification. So for display notification, we can use this class notification notification comeback dot builder new notification builder. So for this constructor, actually we need to pass two parameter. So before uh, there is only one parameter is needed that is the context. Uh, this particular constructor is now deprecated. So here you need to pass one more parameter called the channel ID. So from Android version 8.0 and above, in order to display notification, we need a notification channel. So this is the channel ID of the notification channel. So for Android version lower than 8.0, this particular thing will be simply avoided. So for Android version uh, lower than 8.0, there is no need of a channel ID. But if you want to display notification for Android, 8.0 and above you have to specify channel id okay now now we can specify the parameters for the notification so uh, we need a small icon this is necessary so specify the drawable icon resource <coughs> now we can specify title so you can use this method set content title here I name it as symbol uh, notification. Now we can specify a notification text. So set content text. This is a symbol 
notification by default <coughs> the notification text are truncated for fit in a single line so if you want to display a larger text area you have to use an expandable notification we will learn it in another episode okay so now we can specify the priority for the notification so you can call the set priority method so notification compact dot i specify the default priority so for android version lower than 8.0 you can specify the priority by using the set priority method but from android 8.0 and above you have to specify the priority by specifying the channel importance okay so first here i'm going to uh, display here i'm going to show you how to display notification for android version lower than 8.0 okay so now the notification is almost ready now we can display it for that we need to create an object of notification manager combat notification manager combat to from and pass the context so now we can display notification so notification manager combat dot you can simply call this method called the notify so here you have to pass two parameter first one is the notification id uh, second one is that particular builder object so builder dot you have to call the build method on it so here we simply display a notification so now we can test it so now i'm going to run the project First here I am going to run the project on Android device running 7.1. Okay, here the application available on an Android virtual device that is running on 7.1. So now I am going to display notification. So here, uh, first time the notification appears as a small icon on the status bar. The notification probably appears on the left side of the status bar. So here is our icon. So if the user swipe on the status bar, the notification drawer will open. So here the notification available in notification drawer. So now we can check the anatomy of the notification. So here is the small icon. So this is the application name which is provided by the Android system. And here is the timestamp. And this is the notification title and this is the notification text. Okay. So this notification working fine in Android uh, 7.1. So now I'm going to test this application in another device that is 8.1. So I now we can check it that, that also. So this is a virtual device uh, that running on Android 8.1. So now I try to issue the same notification but here it is not working because from Android 8.0 and above, we have to specify a notification channel and we have to register the notification channel with the Android system for displaying a notification. I hope you understand the concepts of how to display notification in your Android application. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel. In the next video, we are going to learn about how to display notification on Android version 8.0 and above. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.